Hi there, Simon from Simon Wood, and don't come here. Uh, I'm in a strange room uh, today, but uh, so hopefully there's not too much of an echo, echo, echo. Uh, I've got three uh, wines from the Loire Valley in front of me. Two of them are white, made from Sauvignon Blanc, and one of them is red, made from uh, Cabernet Franc. Uh, so let's just dig into them and see where we get to. First one is La Grille. Um, and La Grille is a, a range of wines that was developed by... Um, well, there's a, a, I think he's sort of retiring now. He's handing over to a guy who used to buy wine from Majestic Bar, but developed by a guy called, uh, called Charles Sidney. Uh, Charles and Philippa Sidney have been working with a load of growers in, in, the, in the Loire Valley for um, several years now. And um, I think this is, this is a range that they put together with a little bit from here, a little bit from there, a little bit from, from uh, various places. But this is a Sauvignon Blanc, 2015? No, it's actually 2014. Um, and uh, made by a guy called Paul Buis. And uh, so this is um, yeah, Touraine Sauvignon. Just give it a whirl. I mean, it's not a problem it coming from 2014. It was a rather good year throughout the Loire Valley. And uh, 2015 was a pretty good year too. Maybe a little bit too warm for Sauvignon. So, but here, what I see in this wine, uh, so it, we're in uh, at the start of December 2016 now. Uh, it's still got Christmas. It's still got that slightly herby, um, yet yeah, fresh, uh, ever so slightly feline element to it. So there's crispness, there's citrus, there's herbs, and there's this um, slight whiff of tomcat. Yeah, good, brisk, herby, bracing style. And one of those where, uh, even at this age, you still uh, notice the, that fresh zing of acidity to keep you entertained, keep coming back for more. Um, don't know if December's the right time to be, uh, to be having it in, uh, in the Northern Hemisphere, but... Uh, Maybe I should polish a little bit of that off with some smoked salmon and something. And that sounds that sounds quite enticing. Uh, wine number two, also 100% Sauvignon, but this is Puy Fumé uh, from Domaine Masson Blondelet. Um, and as I was saying, 2015, a warmer year. And, um, but did that favour Sauvignon, or uh, was it almost a little bit too warm for it? Let's have a see. Well, you can smell, uh, first of all, you, the thing you notice is extra richness. Uh, it feels like it's going to be a weightier, almost not quite tropical, but going into those uh, uh, bits of things like plum, maybe even a little bit of uh, rhubarb in there. Less of the citrus, less of the, uh, less of the feline, certainly. Um, but it feels like it's going to be a bigger, weightier wine. Just look what the difference in alcohol is. Uh, first one weighs in at 12.5%. Second one weighs in at 13%, so really not all that much difference. Anyway, let's taste it. And it's a much weightier, fleshier style. Lower acidity. Um, so, actually, that's probably more of a smoked salmon one than the previous one. The previous one was maybe that just a little bit too zingy. And uh, that's the stuff that you have uh, with, with the out-and-out -out shellfish. But a uh, little bit of fatness here uh, would go well with the, the fatness of, uh, of smoked salmon. Um, but, yes, those weightier flavours. Even verging on the, uh, not the tropical, but certainly the stone fruits, the, the peaches, the apricots. Um, if there is citrus there, it's really ripe citrus, maybe ripe mandarin or something like that. Uh, atypical for Pui Fume, that just that little bit weightier. Uh, and um, it's, I, I like it as a wine. As a Pui Fume, I, sometimes, I, I, I think I might miss a little bit of that, uh, the zing, the crispness that I, I look for in a wine like that. But uh, tasty wine, just not typical Pui Fume. Uh, next one, uh, last one is that we're, so we're on reds now. Uh, 2014 Chinon Les Gravières, um, mise en bouteille par SAS GV and FXB. <coughs> oh, dear me, uh, I'm going to cough now. Uh, set up by two winemakers, Gérard, Gérald et François Xavier, one from Saint Nicolas de Bourgogne, the other from Chinon. Uh, let's give it a whirl and see where we get to. Got that lively, earthy, currenty freshness, and uh, that, that I think of as as, as being in there in the Loire Cabernet from. Some people uh, get they get a bit up to you when you say, "Oh, it smells leafy and fresh." Uh, I think Cabernets of whether it's Cabernet Franc and Cabernet Sauvignon benefit from having that slight leafy edge there. Too much of it, and it goes herbal, herbaceous. Just the right amount of it, and it peps up the wines and uh, adds character rather than uh, having something that's slightly shrieky and excruciating sitting in the corner. So there's the warmth of, um, uh, I always get this little edge of tar in, in good Cabernet Franc. Then there's this, uh, the black currant, then there's this little leafy edge there. 
It smells like it's going to be quite fletchy. Um, not sure of alcohol. I'll have a look again. 12.5%, not too fletchy. It actually smells, it smells a bit riper than that. Let's try it. It's warm, squishy fruit. Um, yes, the black currants are in there, blackberries, and then this herbal leafy edge to freshen up the finish. But then there's also a cooked element as well, as if um, uh, it's all about tar. Uh, baked berries, baked dark berries. Uh, I think of that, that bit where you've got a fruit pie or a fruit crumble and uh, uh, those elements of fruit stick to the outside of the pan and uh, they're ever so slightly chewy. It's not gone jammy, it's, it's baked, uh, but it's an element of a wine. It's an element of a really interesting wine. Uh, I'm tasting this uh, later on tonight with some people and I imagine that some of them are going, oh, I really like that, and other people are going, oh, I don't know about that, I don't feel very full-bodied. Uh, it's weird because it's one of those that is genuinely medium-bodied but quite full in flavour, which is how I want my wines. I don't want them to be loud and showy, but not have uh, uh, much um, cerebral matter behind the uh, physical matter. Uh, I like it. It's, I think it's my favourite of the, of, of the trio, but the other two, still quite a lot to say for themselves. A bit like me, so I'll shut up and I will see you soon.